guys! So today I'm going to be reviewing for you guys another eyeliner, another gel liner, and it's L'Oreal's Hip Color Truth Cream Eyeliner. I got this at CVS for $12.99. The color is just black, and of course it comes with a little brush. Now I'm sure you are all familiar with this or have seen it around. I'd been debating for a while now whether or not to get it. My main two reasons for putting it off would be one, it's not waterproof, and you guys know I am all about the waterproof stuff, and two, I am very much satisfied and happy with my Wet n Wild gel liner. But the other day, when shopping around in the makeup section, it caught my eye as it always does, intriguing my intrigue, and on a whim, I thought, eh, what the heck, I'll give it a try. So on the packaging it says, this long-wearing, creamy texture prevents color from losing its edge. It delivers a true color deposit with a smooth, even application. Define your look with rich, superior color. Hip Color Truth Cream Eyeliner. High Intensity Pigments. All right, enough of that. And now for the reviewing. Drum roll. I hated this. Yeah. I'm not gonna hold back on this one. I absolutely did not like it. You can disagree with me. I mean, hey, if it did work for you and you love it, that's great. That's always a good thing, and seriously, I am really happy for you. But for those of you who are going to say that I don't know what I'm doing, or I applied it wrong, or it's because of my slanted eyes, then fine. It's because of all those reasons. It's because of my slanted eyes. But that is why I'm here. That is why I do this. To share the experiences that I have had with makeup with other Asians, other monolid people, and whoever else wants to listen. Because we gotta help each other out. Yeah. Okay, so why did I not like this? First and foremost would be the chipping and flaking. The formula was okay, a little bit on the dry side for me. I feel like when eyeliners are a bit drier, it just makes them harder to apply. You have to put a little more work and spreading into it. But honestly, I just feel like who cares about the formula or anything else? How bad the flaking was just made it all a big fail. It was just so terrible and instant. After I had finished one eye and then I started to work on the next one, that is when disaster first struck. I was like, ah, 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 my eye, my eye. And it was like that for the rest of the day. As far as the long wearing part goes, by the end of the day, and actually I only wore it for about eight hours, there was big chips and chunks missing from it. And I did get the lovely smeared raccoon eye look. So my personal experience with it, I really do not have anything good to say. I mean, the packaging is pretty fancy. Like I always say in my eyeliner videos, if you're just using it for one simple thin line, then it's probably okay. But if you're gonna use this one for more than just a simple thin little line, I wouldn't recommend it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for the weird lighting today. It's cloudy, so the sun's going in and out on me. And sorry I didn't have a more positive review for you. But you know how it goes with me. Honesty, yo. Bye.